हेलो ब्यूटीफुल पीपल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वंस अगेन विद अनदर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज़ हेमाटोलॉजी पार्ट फोर दिस इज़ द लास्ट टॉपिक फ्रॉम हेमाटोलॉजी सो होप यू आर आर लाइकिंग पार्ट वन पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट थ्री ऑफ हेमाटोलॉजी सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो फ्रेंड एज यूजल आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल कीप सपोर्टिंग मी एंड लेट्स गेट मो ऑन टू अवर टू डेज वीडियो सो अवर फिफ्टी सिक्स क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पॉलिसाइथीमिया वेरा ऑप्शन ए एलिवेटेड यूरिन एरिथ्रोपॉइटिन लेवल्स ऑप्शन बी इंक्रीज ऑक्सीजन एफिनिटी ऑफ हेमोग्लोबिन ऑप्शन सी टीयर ड्रॉप पॉइकिलोसाइटोसिस एंड ऑप्शन डी डिक्रीज और एबसेंट बोन मैरो आयरन स्टोर सो फ्रेंड्स द राइट आंसर इज आंसर डी डिक्रीज और एबसेंट इन द बोन मैरो आयरन स्टोर इज वन ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पॉलिसाइथीमिया वेरा मूविंग ऑन टू अवर फिफ्टी सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन सो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर बी सी इंडिसिस इज ए मेजर ऑफ द अमाउंट ऑफ हेमोग्लोबिन इन इंडिविजुअल रेड ब्लड सेल्स ऑप्शन ए एम सी एच सी ऑप्शन बी एम सी वी ऑप्शन सी एच सी टी दैट इज हेमाटोक्रिट वैल्यू विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज पी सी वी पैक्सेल वॉल्यूम एंड ऑप्शन डी एम सी एच सो फ्रेंड्स द राइट आंसर इज आंसर डी दैट इज एम सी एच इज द राइट आंसर सो मूविंग ऑन टू फिफ्टी एथ क्वेश्चन द लेबोरेटरी टेस्ट परफॉर्म ऑन ए पेशेंट इंडिकेट मैक्रोसाइटोसिस एनीमिया ल्यूक्योपीनिया एंड थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिसऑर्डर्स इज द पेशेंट मोस्ट लाइकली टू हैव इट्स अ काइंड ऑफ केस स्टडी क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड सो रीड द क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली दैट ए पेशेंट इज हैविंग मैक्रोसाइटोसिस दैट इज एनलार्ज ऑफ द आर बी सीज ऑल्सो एनीमिया विच इज लोअर विच देयर द एच बी विल बी लोअर देन द नॉर्मल लेवल ल्यूकोपीनिया that is again wbc count is very low and thrombocytopenia again the platelet count is also very low so which of the following disorders is the patient is mostly likely to have option a iron deficiency anemia option b hereditary spherocytosis option c vitamin b12 deficiency and option d acute hemorrhage friends so the right answer is answer c vitamin b12 deficiency is the right answer because of this b12 deficiency the patient will having these type of uh, this one microcytosis anemia leukopenia and thrombocytopenia okay friends moving on to our 59th question so a red blood cell about 5 micrometer in diameter that stains bright red and show no central pallor is a option is spherocyte option b leptocyte option c microcyte and option d macrocyte so friends the right answer is answer a spherocyte moving on to our 60th question The following results were obtained on a patient's blood. That is, Hb is eleven point five grams per dl, HCT is forty percent, MCV is eighty nine, MCH is twenty six picograms, MCHC is again twenty nine. percentage so examination of a white stain smear of the sample same sample would mostly likely show. So friends, it is also a kind of case study question. Here they are giving us the reports based upon their uh, reports uh, which they are uh, showing and the values they are getting. We have to identify the patient is having likely which type of diseases. Option A, macrocytic normochromic erythrocyte. Option B, microcytic hypochromic erythrocytes. Option C, normocytic hypochromic erythrocytes. And option D, normocytic normochromic erythrocyte. So friends, the based upon these lab reports which are present in the question we can uh, define this condition as a option c normocytic hypochromic erythrocytes so friends uh, to get uh, perfection in these uh, anemias you have to uh, get thorough in actually rbc indices like mch value mch and mcv values so that we can easily define them whether they are normocytic microcytic hyperchromic or macrocytic okay friends moving on to our 61 question the presence of excessive rolex formation on blood smear is often accompanied by an increased option a reticulo reticulocyte count option b sedimentation rate option c hematocrit which is also called as pcv option d erythrocyte count which is rbc count so friends the right answer is option b sediment rate is the right answer which will be having presence of excessive rolex formation what do you mean by rolex formation piles like appearance okay it's just like uh, coins uh, the rbc will be arranged in a coin like appearance okay friends so moving on to our uh, 62nd question 
A 56-year-old man was admitted to the hospital for the treatment of a bleeding ulcer. The following laboratory data were obtained. So friends, this is also another another kind of case history. Here they are giving us only the reports. Based upon the reports, we have to identify the patient's condition. Okay, so the RBC value is 4.2 into 10 to the power of 6 microliters. WBC is 5.0 into 10 to the power of 3 microliters. HCT is 30%. HB is 8.5 grams per DL. Serum iron is 40 micrograms per deciliters. Total iron, bind, by, total iron binding capacity is 460 micro grams per dl and serum ferritin is 12 nanograms per ml so examination of the bone marrow revealed the absence of iron store okay this data is most consistent with which of the following conditions option a iron deficiency anemia option b anemia of chronic disease option c hematochromatosis and option d acute blood blood loss so the right answer is answer a because of iron deficiency anemia the, uh, the patient will be getting these kind of uh, laboratory findings okay friends moving to our 63 question a patient with beta thalassemia characteristically has an option a elevated a2 hemoglobin option b low fetal hemoglobin option c high serum iron and option d normal red cell fragility so friends the right answer is answer a elevated a2 hemoglobin moving on to our 64th question the most appropriate screening test for detecting hemoglobin f is option a osmotic fragility option b dithionate solubility option c clear betke option d heat uh, instability test so the right answer is on answer c clear betke is the most appropriate screening test for the detection of hemoglobin f moving on to our 65th question the most appropriate screening test for hemoglobin S is option A, clear betke option B, dithionate solubility, option C, osmotic fragility and option D, sucrose hemolysis. So the right answer is answer B, uh, dithionate solubility. Moving to our 66th question, hemoglobin H disease results from option A, absence of 3 of 4 alpha genes, option, option B, absence of 2 of 4 alpha genes, option C, absence of 1 of 1 alpha genes and option D, absence of all 4 alpha genes. Friends, the right answer is answer A, absence of 3 of 4 alpha genes will be causing hemoglobin H disease. Moving to our 67th question, it is also a kind of case studies question. The laboratory findings on patient or as follows mcv is 55 micro m cube mchc is 25 percentage and mch is 17 picograms a stained blood film of this patient would most likely reveal a red cell picture that is option a microcytic hypochromic option b macrocytic hypochromic option c normocytic normocropic normochromic and option d microcytic and normochromic so the right answer is answer a microcytic hypochromic is the right answer moving on to our next question that is 68th question which of the following is the formula for mean corpuscular volume that is mcv option a uh, hb by hb by hb into 10 by rbc option b hb by hct option c hct into 10 by rbc and option d rbc by hct so friends you have to get uh, remembered with these formulas of mcv mch and mchc these are all called as red cell indices so you have to be very thorough with these formulas so here the right formula for the mcv that is mean corpuscular volume is option c hct by 10 uh, hct into 10 by rbc is the right answer okay friends moving on to our 69th question it is also a kind of case history question a patient has pancytopenia decrease total serum iron decrease serum iron binding capacity and shows a homogeneous fluorescence pattern with a higher titer of on a fluorescent anti nuclear antibody okay a and a this this is suggestive of option a polycythemia vera option b systemic lupus erythromatous option c iron deficiency anemia and option d hemoglobin hc disease 
so friends what they are asking what do you mean by pancytopenia that means decreased in all the uh, blood cells that is decrease in rbc decrease in wbc and decrease in platelets also that we are calling it as pancytopenia so if the condition is like this what is the suggest this is the suggestive of what option a polycythemia vera option b sle and option c iron deficiency anemia option d hemoglobin acidosis so, so the right answer is option b systemic creup uh, lupus erythromatous which is also called as sle disease sle disease is a kind of autoimmune disease friends okay moving on to our 70th question cells that produce antibodies and lymphokines are option a erythrocytes option b granulocytes option c lymphocytes and option d thrombocytes so the right answer is answer c lymphocytes moving on to our 71 question in normal adult bone marrow the most common granulocyte is option a basophil option b myeloblast option c eosinophil and option d metamyelocyte friends the right answer is answer d metamyelocyte is the most common granulocyte in the adult bone marrow moving on to our 72nd question multipotent stem cells are capable of producing option a daughter cells of only one cell line option b only t lymphocytes and b lymphocytes option c erythropoietin thrombopoietin and leukopoietin option d lymphoid and myeloid cell so friends the right answer is answer d lymphoid and myeloid cells moving on to our 73rd question terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase that is tdt is a marker found on option a hairy cells option b myeloblast option c monoblast and option d lymphoblast friends the right answer is answer d lymphoblast they will be found in the marker they are found in the lymphoblast moving to our 74th question the philadelphia chromosome is formed by a translocation between option a long arm of chromosome 22 and long arm of chromosome 9 option b long arm of chromosome 21 and long arm of chromosome 9 option c long arm of chromosome 21 and short arm of chromosome 6 option d long arm of chromosome 22 and short arm of chromosome 6 so the right answer is option a long arm of chromosome 22 and long arm of chromosome 9 is the philadelphia chromosome which is formed by the translocation in between what 22 long arm of chromosome 22 and long arm of 22 chromosome chromosome number 9 option a is the right answer moving on to our 75th question phagocytosis is a function of option a erythrocytes option b granulocytes option c lymphocytes and option d thrombocytes what do you mean by phagocytosis friends phagocytosis is nothing but engulfing of a foreign particles so the function uh, which can be the phagocytosis function will be done by option b that is granulocyte okay friends moving to our 76th question which cells on involved in immediate hypersensitivity reaction what do you mean by hypersensitivity reaction hypersensitivity is nothing but a allergic type of reaction that is immediate type of allergic reaction as we all know that hypersensitivity is of two types right that is delayed hypersensitivity and immediate hypersensitivity immediate is within a hours they will be getting reaction and delayed uh, you will be getting in between 48 to 72 hours right so it is nothing but allergy hypersensitivity reaction is nothing but allergic reactions so which cells are involved in this hypersensitivity that is allergic reactions option a eosinophils option b basophils option c plasma cells and option d reactive lymphocytes so friends the right answer is answer b basophils will be uh, reacting in this hyper immediate hypersensitivity reaction moving on to our 77th question or rods are most likely present in which of the following option a chronic myelocytic leukemia option b myelofibrosis with myeloid metaplasia option c erythroleukemia and option d acute myeloidic leukemia or rods when you uh, see a microscopic uh, figure there you will find this one so in which they will be most likely to be present that is option d acute myelocytic leukemia okay friends moving on to our 78th question that is a 50 year old man was admitted into the hospital with the acute leukemia 
laboratory findings include the following so friends this is also a kind of case study question so be careful while you are going through this here they are asking myeloperoxidase stain is blast cell negative pass stain periodic acid skiff stain is also blast cells demonstrate a blocking pattern terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase it is also a blast cell positive surface immunoglobin blast cell negative cd2 that is blast cell negative cd2 is nothing but cluster of differentiation markers will be present right that is cd2 marker the next is philadelphia chromosome is positive the results are most consist with option a acute myelogenous leukemia option b chronic lymphocytic leukemia in lymphoblastic transformation option c t cell acute lymphocytic leukemia and option d chronic myelogenous leukemia in lymphoblastic transformation so friends the right answer is answer d chronic myelogenous leukemia in lymphoblastic transformation is the right answer okay friends moving on to our 79th question so the m is to e ratio in acute myelocytic leukemia is usually option a normal option b high option c low and option d variable so the right answer is option b high m is to e ratio is nothing but myeloid and erythroid ratio m is to e ratio can be present in any the different kinds of leukemias also just like all cll aml cml leukemia so you have to be very thorough in that before reading the question you just go don't go through blindly through m is to e ratio you have to uh, be very specific in which kind of uh, leukemia they are asking here they are asking acute myelocytic leukemia in acute myelocytic leukemia the m is to e ratio will be high okay friends moving on to our 88th question here also a kind of case study a patient diagnosed with polycythemia vera 5 years ago okay now has a normal hematocrit decreased hemoglobin and microcytic hypochromic red cells which is the most probable cause for the current blood situation option a phlebotomy option b myelofibrosis option c preleukemia and option d aplastic anemia so friends the right answer is answer a phlebotomy moving on to our 81 question t cell acute lymphocytic leukemia that is all is closely related to option a chronic lymphocytic leukemia that is cll option b autoimmune disease option c lymphoblastic lymphoma option d acute myelocytic leukemia so friends the right answer is answer c lymphoblastic lymph